my uh, longtime buddy uh, and compadre, Marshall Falk, looked at your quarterback, Jake Browning, last year, out of all of them. I'm telling you, I'm not just saying this because you're on the program, but you are on the program, so I'll tell you. He, he thought he was the one with the most talent for the next level out of anybody, and that would have been for even last year's draft, too, Coach. W what do you say when you hear that? Well, you know, we're, we're proud of Jake for sure. Um, you know, he's such a he's such a football guy, and there's nobody that really studies the game harder. You know, really, in in, in my my years of coaching, you always have a handful of guys that were just so focused and so driven on the football thing in terms of how their preparation would be, whether it's in the season, out of season, fall camp, whatever it is. And he's one of those guys. He understands a lot of football. He really enjoys playing the game. And so, you know, all that, all the next level stuff, that, that's, that's a little bit hard for me to know. You know, I just know the players that we're looking for who are really good players for us that have done so much for our program, and that's Jake Browning. Well, to what would you attribute some of the statistical drop-off that he suffered last year, Coach? Yeah, I, I think it, a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, our emphasis on offense. You know, we're always – we always – talk about just playing to our strengths whether it's for the whole season whether it's for a game if we can't you know throw the ball like we'd like to then we're going to run it more if we can't run the ball then we're going to throw it more we just were we'd love to stay balanced like most coaches would um and we kind of go from there the year before i know we threw you know a handful quite a few touchdowns kind of in that tight red zone area and this past year we kind of selected to run the ball a little bit more. And so there's always like a bunch of different reasons. Um, and so, you know, I think that's what it is. Everybody wants to attribute it to the quarterback and he didn't play, you know, like he was supposed to and expectations get out of whack and all those things. And it really wasn't that. I think it was a, it wasn't, it wasn't all Jake for sure. Um, but we'd like to be a little more explosive in the past game. Um, you know, for us to be able to take the next step. And so we're, you know, we're working hard on that. Well, you obviously it's, it's tempting to run the ball when you have a kid like Miles Gaskin uh, at your disposal. No uh, question. Coach. That's exactly right. You I know. mean, you, you start throwing it more and you're going, oh, we got this guy in the backfield that, you know, he needs to get the ball a lot. And um, so, you, you know, you're trying to figure that out, like I said, game by game and week by week and, and what the best thing is to score points. And, um, you know, we kind of figure it out as we go. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.